So just a quick one. Um, so I've taken on board uh, some suggestions from Star Hunter on Discord. Um, in fact, I've actually changed my uh, thrust forward uh, method to, to exactly what he said. Uh, and it actually works better than what I was using before. Um, the one I was using before, it was continually counting down into negative digits with, uh, with the fuel. So there was like 100 fuel, which equates to like 100 seconds of fuel. And then it would just keep going into negative numbers, which is impossible. Um, if you've got a fuel can and you've got no fuel, you haven't got negative fuel. Well, you have, but you haven't got like a negative value of fuel. You've just got no fuel. So this actually works a little bit better. What I still need to do, somehow figure out how to implement this properly. So when the player presses forward, that's when the thrust forward comes into play. Probably I may need to have like a separate method right up at like is thrusting which sounds hilarious is thrusting and then it kind of takes into the like the button presses but it still needs to be in the update wouldn't it i'm not sure anyway i've changed it to 30 just for the sake of um like the amount of fuel is 30. Uh, i've changed it to that uh, what let's just start again okay so i've got 30 fuel let's just change the velocity a little bit to two um so you'll see this, it's counting down for 30 as soon as it starts. So it's already counting down. And let's see, I'm thrusting about, moving in the direction that I want. Uh, let's go down a little bit. And now I can't run out of fuel. I can't move forward. It's just going to, spaceship's just going to float off. That's what it's doing. It's just floating away. Uh, and that's good. That's what I want. Um... Because there's no fuel now and it's stopped it hasn't gone into negative digits um, and that's what you want but the problem is is having it where the I just need to rethink this entire input system I think I'm not sure um, I'll get there though